What's going on guys? How are we doing out there? Happy Wednesday to everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Everything good here. More of the same. Nothing too exciting. Uh, just plugging away. Uh, made some good headway since I last saw you guys on Monday. And um, let's see, make sure. Yep. Hey, just making sure that my clone's actually working. Uh, actually, I got Unity up. Let me tuck him away. We're not going to mess with Unity. We're going to be messing with uh, Maya LT. And uh, yes, I'm doing 2D animation in Maya LT for those that are, are new. Um, if you're asking yourself, wait, why are you using Maya to animate 2D? <laughs> that's, a, uh, that, that's a great question. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I should be using Spine. But so I'm, as far as I'm concerned, Spine it didn't have their act together originally because, you know, the whole issue of, you know, graph editor, not having a really good graph editor. But... They fixed that now, but you know what? You dance with who brung you. At this point, I've been using Maya on this project, so I'm using Maya still. Next time I do a 2D, yeah, it's fine. Anyways, what's going on? So, um, context for anyone just kind of chiming in for the first time. Uh, the idea here is I am making a video game based on Tribbles from Star Trek, which, here you go, in case you don't know, if you're under the age of 50, 40, 50, uh, Tribbles come from the original Star Trek TV show, and, uh, they're cute little furry creatures that have a really bad tendency of eating all the food they find on spaceships, and so my agreement is I'm allowed to use the likeness, uh, and the name of Tribbles, because I have a partnership with, uh, a company called Tribble Toys, co-founded by David Gerald, who actually wrote the original screenplay. Uh, so I have Tribbles, and I also have Glommers, which came in on the short-lived, little-known animated Star Trek series. Glommers uh, were invented by Klingons, and if you know anything about Star Trek lore, Klingons and Tribbles hate the crap out of each other. So they actually genetic genetically engineered Glommers to do one thing, and that's to eat the Tribbles. So that's pretty much the extent of it. So I have like uh, the likeness of these two characters, the names, and also the Quadratricia Cali, which is uh, the food that they like to eat, the grain. So those items... So the premise is, is the Tribble basically finds himself on a ship, gets caught by these little alien guys, uh, guy and girl, uh, kind of, you know, alien cat kind of stuff. Um, because it's kind of going in stylized fashion, I also went more of like the animated series where you have sort of like more kind of uh, animalistic kind of characters. So we have that. And what I'm working on now is the game is pretty much locked, right? As a matter of fact, there you go. Uh, if you want to see what it's like, please, 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 please feel feel free. Be my guest. Go over to Steam and go to Trivial Troubles, uh, and you will find a very playable version call uh, of the game in playtest, which allows you basically play the entire full game for free. Uh, while we're in test mode, you can absolutely play the whole thing for free. Uh, incomplete. One of the things I'm working on right now is the cutscenes. Right. So I have like the first one done. This is gonna be the second one. So I've been plugging away on that. So anyone that saw any previous stuff, you know that uh, I was working on the captain character and pretty much finished him up. And now I'm working on number one. I'll show you the progress here so you guys can take a look. Here you go, real quick. The last piece of equipment is now on board, sir. Terrific. Good riddance to that whole planet. And the Tribble's back as well. What? Oh, wait. It, oh, the sorry last about that. piece of you know equipment what? is now... Planet. I have a short range here. Let me, uh, let me do that again. Take two. Uh, let me get the whole range set up here. There you go. One more time. The last piece of equipment is now on board, sir. Terrific. Good riddance to that whole planet. And the Tribble's back as well. What? It's back. No. Yes. No! Lock the ship down! Sir, it's just a Tribble. Do it! Security, go floor to floor until you find and vaporize that mangy furball! There you the go. The last piece of equipment is now on board, sir. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, as you can see, pretty much the captain is all done. I'm, I'm pretty content with him. I may come back and tweak if something I look at later on bugs me, but for the time being, I'm good with that. So now I'm just kind of focusing on her and uh, just making sure that that's all good. And uh, so yeah, so got part of the way through. If you saw that, noticed it, you'll see that she was moving for a little bit and then stops because that's as far as I've gotten. 
Um, I'm animating the body first, and then I, on a second pass, I go back and actually worry about the lip sync and the, the face and all that kind of stuff, the eyes and the ears. But right now, I'm just trying to uh, kind of flesh out the body motions. The last piece of equipment is. And I'm kind of following suit what I did in the first uh, cutscene, where she's pretty much just buries herself in her tablet. Which, I know people don't do that. People never just sit there and bury themselves in their phones or the tablets all day. I know that's not realistic, but, you know, you know, go with it. The last piece of equipment is now on board, sir. Terrific. Good riddance to that whole planet. And... Excuse me. All right, so we got to this point where he's all happy. He's thinking that they're done. The dribble's out of his life. And they've finished surveying the planet. And they can get the heck out of Dodge, but then she informs him. Terrific. Good riddance to that whole planet. And... Right here, and the trouble's back as well. All right. So, for those that are new, the idea is that uh, so you play as this trouble in a vertical climbing game, and he, the captain, in a fit of anger, beams you into the center of this planet that they were doing the survey of, and it has like a molten core who's uh, in the uh, is rising up in the planet. So you play as the trouble climbing way up. And if you make it all the way into the jungle area, what happens is you get inadvertently beamed back onto the ship a second time. Uh, and then that's this is the follow-up scene. So she's letting them know. And the Tribble's back as well. So for this one, I'm going to do, of course, a lot more energetic motion for her. Because here is just Good more like... To that whole planet. And the Tribble. You get a sense that she has, like, disdain for him anyways, and right? You know, she's... She took this job just because, you know, she absolutely had no other opportunities, you know. And he's harmless, but he's annoying. And you can tell the way she reacts, so we're going to play off of that. So here, there's a little pleasure when she gets to tell him that the dribble's back. The whole planet. So, yeah, let's see. So, yeah, oops. Yeah, so we have nothing here, so let's go ahead and then key this bad boy here and then I start doing that do I have I might have two different little key key values here so who is the one that was at room oh, this guy alright so let me fix that I'm going to clean this up I have a personal preference uh, of keeping everyone on the same keys at least in the beginning and then offsetting later uh, if I have the notion to do that, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that everyone's on that 178 keyframe. Give the geo back. Now we're good. Right. So I'm gonna have her do a little dip down just for the anticipation, so be like, and right. So rather than just have him shoot up, she does a little dip down. That is commonly referred to as an anticipation move. Have it tilt back. Uh, pelvis is going to tilt back because the body is going to tilt forward. Like so. And I have no key. Oh, I slept the wrong thing. Do I have... I have joints? I don't have locators, so I don't know what I selected there. Alright. So. And what I'll do is take the chest and just cheat it over just a little bit. So I want to keep that center of gravity kind of in the same spot right and then for the head as well here I'm gonna ha have it start anticipating the, the move upward like that Planet. you know actually we might have to go up before then let me see shoot I might be doing this a little late later than I'd like to, so I think I want to do the anticipation on this frame and not 178. So let's grab some of these guys. That. Oops. There we go. Find it. And. Okay, and then now we're going to shoot up, and then we'll do that at three frames, make that a bit faster, oops, I want 
gonna go. Oh, there you go. Like I said, she can be real energetic on this because she gets to kind of twist the knife a little bit here by saying that. Yeah, and trouble's back. Planet. And yeah. And what I'm doing here is you can see the knees are gonna lock here, uh, but I still want to go higher, so I can actually grab the hips and lower them to accommodate that. So even though they're locking. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. And Bring that down. Like so. Planet. And Ooh, that's a bit sharp. <laughs> that's a bit much. Start to lean into that area like that. Oh. What do I have here? Uh-oh, I got like a mishmash of keys here again. Who was that? Oh, that was everybody. All right, let me go the other way around. Who is a 178 here? Who did I oh, those guys. Okay. <laughs> I keep reversing myself here. All right. Um. I didn't do a great job of rigging the character. I didn't really take too much time. Not nearly as much as I probably should have. So I have to sort of like turn the geo on and off sometimes to get at some of the uh, controllers. But, you know, since I just rigged it for myself, I didn't really go to great efforts to make it pretty. If I was sharing this with other animators, I would definitely clean it up and make it better because we're animators and we complain. So, <laughs> but complaining to myself... You know, I do that enough already. Planet. And all right. So I, I think what I want to do here is also just let her start dro dropping the hand a bit here. Yeah. So we got the hand here. So we're gonna do this. See if this is gonna work. Might be a bit fast. And come back down as well. Oops. Trying to select and I dragged. There you go. Get the neck to come up a little bit like that. And she's going to switch her focus from the tablet to him. An old planet. And. Yep. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, I gotta clean up the fingers there. Uh, you can see the Z def. I've, I've complained too many times, but the Z def on Maya is terrible there. So I'll have to adjust that later on. It will be an issue in Unity because Unity sets up the each of these items, separate items, through a layer system. But here, it looks terrible where it's like two fingers are like in, on top of the palm and one is behind. But I, I'll try and ignore that. All right, but it's kind of cool. She's doing like this little drops the and tablet and kind of like patting it as it drops down. So it's good. And, and I'm going to drag this one way out. Normally, I don't really go that far between keys, but because this is such a big, and the that big hang there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do an unusual, let's see, uh, that's three, four, well, that's five. That's, that's still more than I normally do, but I'll let it go five frames between my next key. And this is what I was talking about before. You can see the hips, the, the legs, the knees are completely locked here, but I can fix that. Um, you know what? Let me look at my graph editor. Do my Y here, where he's going up in the air. And I, let's see. Kind of like that, I think, a bit. Yeah. Mm. Go up a little more. There you go. So you can see it kind of tapers off. Planet. And. Planet. And. <laughs> She's gonna enjoy doing this. Planet. And. There you go. Let the neck rise up just a bit more. Not too much. Yeah. And the head, most of that I think is going to happen. 
here. Like that. There. And then here we're just gonna fade it. Might not even need to. Yeah, that's pretty much locked. Okay, the Y we can fade out here like that. And do we do any rotation on the pelvis? I don't think we did. Nope, it ain't rotating at all. So we'll leave that as is. Oh, we haven't done anything to the chest yet. Crap. So I'm gonna, yeah, let the chest rock back. Um, maybe I wanna do it back and forth. Let's see how that looks. And the Yeah, not bad. Let me rotate the neck to compensate for that motion. There we go. That should do it. Planet. And Yeah. Planet. And it's subtle, but I like that. It it overshoots her upright position, kinda of goes past it and then comes back a little bit. Let the neck go up to help Planet. And so that head doesn't have some weird bob there. Oh planet. And Alright. And, and, she's not doing anything with her hands here yet. Hit control S, save early, save often. Okay. Let's do this. Where are we gonna go here? How far off do we lose the hand motion? There it is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cheat that. Just do a couple of keys here and there. All right, I'm gonna keep this close by, like that. I think that might be all right. Like so, and we're gonna mess with the other hand here. So we'll let that just kind of tuck down. Yeah, so I like that. So originally I just sort of arbitrarily moved it, but now this looks like the, the right hand is kind of guiding the tablet down and just hanging with it, almost like it's constrained, which I like that. So I will keep that. Like that. That whole planet. And the... <laughs> whole planet. And the triples back as well. Now here's a decision. I think I jotted this down. Uh... Yeah, okay, I think I, uh, this is the way I, I jotted down some notes on what I want her to do here. So she does this bit, she's to down. That whole planet. And the triples back as well. So I think what I want to do is just have her briefly, almost like she comes up for air. She goes, and, and, and the then she goes right back down the tri uh, to the tablet and say, the triples back as well. And then he's gonna go. As well. What? What? And then she'll say it's back, right? So she'll go down, right? And he'll go what? And she'll go it's back. What? The, that whole planet. And. So here is kind of cool. She hangs, and, and then I'm gonna bring her back down to the tablet. I think briefly. Tribbles back as well. What? You know, it's almost like and she's trying to like. She doesn't want to say it directly to his face because it's just like, because she would laugh if she does that because it's embarrassing to him so by her it's like she wants to say it to his face she's like and the triples back but she can't do a straight face she'll go and the triples back as well that is the goal here and let's see and yeah so and then here we're just gonna hang one more section once again five frames and I might just, just do a solid hold on this and not do anything else here. So tan, good. Key. Key. Key these guys as well. And... Let's see. Maybe let this come back up just a scotch. That's a scientific term. Yeah, maybe. Eh, I don't know if I want to do that. So they come in real tight, nudge it.
There you go. So it's super and subtle. And and but it's just starting to arc the hand back up. I mean that that's that's like super super subtle. But I'm good with and that. Anticipation of her raising raising it back up and then putting her focus back down onto it again. And the All right. So then here, what I think I'll do is still keep the same position. Go four frames and start to do the move. Like that. So you see that she's going to start to lower here. Right? And subtly. Like that. And then, once again, I'm going to counter rotate the neck. Maybe. Let's see, maybe let it come down a little more. Maybe let the head have a little kind of rotation here. There it is. That's good. Yep, so you can see the hand now we're just starting to lead into what's gonna be the next version, just goes straight back to it. <clears throat> Uh, you know what? What I might do here is rather than because she's already she's got the information on the screen, right? So I may just let this right hand drop down completely because she won't need it because now she's just going to be like referencing it, so she won't have to touch it again for a moment. I might change my mind here a little bit because that's such a great drawn out and whole planet and I think I want to push that further because right now I'm being too subtle so I think what I might try here see if this will work control s so in case this sucks <laughs> I can control s it out of suck reload if this is terrible and yeah okay so here's what I'm thinking I want to do like really go big like that like that Let's see how that looks Planet. and the yeah, it's, actually, it's more subtle than I thought it'd be. Planet. And the planet. And planet. And All right, counter the head a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, you see that the eye there, the, the the brow, the center eyebrow there. That thank you, Maya. That's I. Yeah, you're just fantastic at that. That's great. Right, so let's see. Planet and the yeah. There you go. It's a nice little subtle move. Planet and it might be too subtle. I'm a big fan of pushing it until it's like too far. I think it's okay. I think I'm seeing a hit, but I think that's just because that's the last keyframe that I currently have kicking there. Planet. And the. Yeah, I think that's okay. Planet. And the. Tr and. Yep. So now I'm gonna go four. 
here. Let's do it over here. Let's see, how big is that? The tr yeah, that's a quick move, but the tr I think that's what I want here. Excuse me. Good lunch. That was weird. Sorry. Let me see if that's smoothing the way I want it to. Nope. So, go to Graph Editor, grab this guy, drop it like that. So this is his, uh, her dropping down motion. And you can see, I just, what I want to do is not make it the same constant speed the whole way through. I want it to be an initial burst, right? And then sort of flatten out. And the triple. And the tri you know, what? actually, I changed my mind. I might want to do a bounce here. And the trick. Because right now it just kind of hits, and I could round that off. But I think it might be more fun. Uh, do a five. Well, we'll try that as a five frame spacing. And maybe compress that faster here. All right, and that nudges too much. Let's try that. And the triple. So what I'm doing right now is my personal approach to animation, which I've been doing, like you know, as I've said for a couple decades now. Um, I don't do it the way you're supposed to. Traditionally, uh, animators work from pose to pose, and I tend to work in a center out type fashion, which is a personal preference for me. So I kind of rough out the center of gravity, the the hips, and then kind of work the body out from that point. And the triples back. Yeah, cool. I think that's going to look nice. It's subtle, the triple. but there's a little bit of a dip and a bounce and in the knees and here. The tri and I think once the body goes with it, it's going to be a cool move. And So I think I want to play with the torso next. Let's grab those guys. Like so. And then obviously we want to tilt downward. And I either have to see if I can shift the, the chest here, or I might have to offset the hips to keep the center of gravity from being too far over. But we'll figure that out. Figure that out in just a second. So we'll copy those to there. But now do I, I don't know if I want to do a dip on that one as well, or just have it do a smooth like that. I think that's going to work better. And the triples back as well. The triple and the triples. So you see how she just buries herself back in the in the tablet again, right? So she already she wanted to tell him to his face, but it's almost like she knows that she'll smirk too much, so she and the, the triples back. All right. So I definitely want to grab the hips. And slide them. Like that. There we go. So, you see what I did? I just pushed the hips that way. So that way, um, yeah. That way, so that way, uh, it doesn't look like she's top heavy and she's gonna fall flat on her face. Planet. And the triple's back as well. There you go. That's working for me. And the triple. Uh, I still got to fix the hips, of course, because I got the, the and legs locking. You know, actually, I'm really, it's not terrible. The because I don't have any kind of up and down in that area, there's normally when you have the knees lock, you get like that, you know, kind of popping that, like this, right? But because I'm rising up and I'm hanging there, and the triple. It's actually not terrible. I may actually leave that. Where she just stretches out. And oh, but I just noticed the foot does go up here. Planet. And you see that is subtle. And you see that the foot kind of raise up. So I guess I will have to bring those hips down at least a little bit to compensate for that. But yeah, I'm gonna keep those up as high as I can. Cool. Planet. And. Right. Looks 
so. Do a quick move here. Just gonna bring the tablet up. See if I can do like where she goes out and back in with it. See if I can pull that off. Let's see. And the triples back. Yeah. Planet. And the triple. And the tribbles. Eh, not yet. It just feels like she's trying to smack herself in the face with it right now. And the trip. So let's see if I just need to dial that one down. Bring that one back up. That's too much. And the tribbles. You know the the ping pong the the overshoot whatever might be too much there. Let me just see if I can do an ease into that instead. That looks better. Planet. And the triples back. Yeah. It, it's a bit of a, a, a hard and freeze there, the but I think I'm okay with that. And the trip. And the trip. There we go. Mm. You guys are quiet today. I guess I gotta like play catch with my dog here. Poor Virtual Penny hasn't had any activity, so I'll take my best shot. Watch me put it right in the dirt. Let's see. Yep. And I missed. That sucks. Let's see. Where am I at now? And... Yep, still second place. Shortbait, who has not been around in a while, but at, I haven't been around in a while. But, uh, yep, still got the lead. And the triples back. The triples. And the triples back as well. The triples back as well. Yeah, so this is going to be pretty subdued, I think. And the triples back as well. Uh, the triples. People are in the same general pose. And the triples back. As well. And just like a little bit of emotion just to go along with her speaking, but. Dial down significantly here and because and she knows the he's gonna blow up here. So, yeah, I'm not sure which way I feel if it's a situation where uh, she kind of like fears him or if she just sort of like loathes him, and so her reaction is more like and she's enjoying this too much or she's fearing his reaction. I didn't go towards the, the former. I think she's always talking down to him. And the so she knows even though he's. Gath and she knows that she's the superior, <laughs> at least intellectually speaking. To quote Khan, <laughs> to quote rather Khan, yours is a superior. And okay, the enough talk, more anime. Where is that one? Is that it? Nope, that ain't it. Yeah, terrible, terrible reading job here. There it is, that guy. All right. We missing a couple of keys along here. There we go. So let's get this hand. So copy paste that keyframe over here. Just let that settle. And the triples back as well. Yep, okay. Control S. Let's go ahead and save that. And the triples back. 
the the Okay, so I think I'll have trouble just kind of keep her stationary, but then I'll have a dip, and then she'll do like a back to emphasize that. Tribble. this really subdued. Keep it alive because she's speaking. Tribble. See, that's gonna be too much there. Probably not. Once I counter rotate the head and neck. Yeah. The tribbles. Tribble. All right, and then we'll finish this little arcing motion. She's kind of dipping in. And actually, I think it's just the upper portion of the body that I'm rotating here. Yeah. That. All right, uh, that's a bit, a bit more subtle. The triples back. Ew, that's hitting. That's not working. Let me bring it down. The triples back. The triples. The triples back is triples back. Hmm. All right. Maybe okay right now. She's looking like she freezes there a little bit. Let's see if that helps. The tribbles back. Yeah, okay. Just the tribbles. Just a little shift in the upper part of the body there. Maybe a little sharp. A little more subtle. Like that. And the tribbles back. Ooh, too much. The tribbles back. Trib I think the tribbles back. I think it's okay. It's just the tribble. I need a little bit of the hand to go along with that to make that work. Because right now the hand's looking very IK-ish. Inverse kinematic like. So let's go ahead and get some subtle. Like that. The tribbles back. Ooh. Tribbles back. That's a bit poppy. Right there. Let's move that out a little bit. And the tribbles back. That's yeah, still popping. Right there. The tribbles back yeah. and the tribbles. Ew. And the tribbles back is and the tri no, not working yet. Too subtle.
And the triples back as well. There we go. That's a little bit better. And the triples back. And the triples. And the triples back. And the triples. All right. So I'm liking that. I think we can go bigger now with the upper body motion to go along with that. The trip. The trip. All right, got it. And of course, now we gotta kind of animate the neck. the tribbles back no <laughs> no the tri the tribbles back there you go the tribbles that's good but the tribbles just need to have a little more follow through here. The tribbles. I think that's gonna work. Well, let's see. Just go along, key all this stuff right here in the middle. The tribbles back as well. Yeah, there we go. I think that'll work. The tribbles back. The tribbles back as well. Tribbles back. Yep. I think I'm gonna be good with that. The tribbles back as well. And the tribbles back as well. The tribbles. And then I'm gonna prepare her for back. I'm gonna have her pop up a little bit. So I'll probably just hold this. Might just leave it as is. Oops. A little more with the hand here, I think. Like that. Super subtle. The tribbles back as well. The tribbles back. All right. You guys are quiet today. I'm getting a lot more done than I normally do. Or is that it? You guys? Did you guys like like behind the scenes plan just to like not chat me up so I actually do some work for a change? <laughs> it's working. I'm definitely more productive than and the tribbles back. The tribbles back. The tribbles. The, the tribbles back. back. I think I do that. Three frames in. Make this a fast move, comparatively speaking. Here and then. Just a bit of a bounce. So, and like so. Might be a bit Bulls much. Back is <laughs> it's a little much. Uh, let's counter the hips. I have to definitely fix those hips there. But what I could do is actually just take the body here. Tribbles back as well. Back. Tribbles back as well. Tribbles back. back. Let's see. 
Yeah, okay. I can still have him have him coming up here. Yeah. My nudge is just a little too sensitive for this bit. There you go. That should be good. Dribbles back as well. Back. Once again, you see what I'm doing here is I'm kind of cheating and just animating the, the pelvis first. Trying to get that motion where I like it and then do the rest of the body. And the triples back as well. <laughs> no, back those legs well. don't lock what? at all. No, okay. Oh, the triples oh. back as well. Pulls back. Pulls back. Yeah, and because the arm is locked here. It, the triples back. It makes it look like the body's not doing anything, but once I get the triples it, back as well. And, and I'm counter animating the head, I think, a little bit. But once the arm moves, Dribbles back. I think that'll register. And I'll, uh, I'll do a counter to the move. So she's rising upward, but I'll make the hand go the other direction. To counter that. Oops. If I can select something. That's good. Kind of go big here. Do a little arc motion, maybe. A little curve. Dribbles back as well. It's not bad. But... Spam colors. I love those. The tribbles back as well. The tribbles back as well. The tribbles back. As well. Such a fast motion. Ew. Well, that's not good. Let's clean this up. Let's go wide and just hit that bad boy. There you go. Dribbles back as well. Dribbles <laughs> back as well. Yeah, that's a little too fast for that big of a move. Unfortunately, and I'm kind of tied because of the speed of what she's saying, so. Let's dial it down. Yeah. What I'll do here is grab these guys and use scale just to reduce that. And the rotation, same thing here. I'm just going to reduce the amount. Next song. And the tribbles back as well. What? And the tribbles back as well. All right, so if I'm gonna do that, I think I gotta go ahead and move the upper chest. Because right now that's, oh, it's not doing anything. It's part of the problem. Like so. Tribbles back as well. The tribbles back as well. Doing this whole trick here. Good riddance to that whole planet. And the tribbles back as well. Okay. Let's see. Tribbles Let's see. back. It's right here. That move is kind of hitting. There you go. Tribbles back as well. There it is. That's a little more. The tribbles Smooth. back as well. All right. Those hips are bugging me so much that I'm going to go ahead and address them now. Uh, let me turn off that. Grab this hip. 
add hip. Turn Geo back on. I'm gonna go ahead and select pelvis there. Let's see what is it? And yeah, it's right here. So I'm just gonna do the keyframe dance, where I'm just keyframing all the way across like that to match. Lucini, what up, buddy? How's it going, man? Welcome, welcome. How's stuff in your part of the world? Uh, I am just animating uh, Little Miss number one here. Doing good, and you, yeah, no complaints. Uh, nothing new to report, just more of the same, which is not a bad thing. Um, get a few people to try the game out on Steam, which is cool. Still not getting any feedback yet. Once again, I don't know if that's good or bad news. I'm still banking on the idea that the game is flawless and no one's found a bug in it yet. But, uh, yeah, doing good. <laughs> no worries, it's not going anywhere. Uh, that's too much, I think. Ooh, too much. You will play what we chat? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, where are we at? Oh, well, you know what? You you got here right in the nick of time anyway, so I'm going to be sneaking away here in a few minutes. It's been quiet today. That's too much. To that whole planet and the triples back as well yeah that's i think good that's okay. riddance to that whole planet and the triple good riddance sure to that whole planet right and yeah, the triples bit. back as well yeah what i can live with that it's good riddance to that whole planet and the triples back as well so yeah since uh i'll go ahead and play this through so since we were meeting up on monday i went ahead and actually finished pretty much everything in terms of the captain's performance so here you go here's what it's looking like now and I'm just starting on her you can see I'm what 200 frames in so mm, what is that uh, third a little more than a third of the way through the last piece of equipment is now on board sir terrific good riddance to that whole planet and the tribbles back as well what it's back no yes no lock the ship down Sir, it's just a triple. Do it! Security, go floor to floor until you find and vaporize that mangy furball. There you the go. Last piece of equipment. So, coming along, we're getting there. This is a pretty long one, uh, especially compared to the first cutscene and more action with the two of them. Uh, I just did notice that uh, one thing I want to do is I said I'm not going to have it, I'm do anything here, but I do want to do like an eye blink or something just. You give him a little life. I won't animate his body. Like I said, I wouldn't. As well. What? And the tribbles back as well. What? All right. Let me zoom in here. Like so. Just a, uh, a subtle settle right here. So right now, it looks like it's hitting a bit of a wall because everything's coming to a stop at the same time, even though they're still moving pretty fast. Yeah, that one's stuck. Back a little bit like that. Pulls back as well. Uh, the hitboxes don't feel too great. Uh, okay. So, sp specifically, like, in what 
Like, which characters are you talking about? Because I'll take some back great well. pains to make sure that they're pretty accurate. The Tribble's back as well. 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 Lava? Uh... <laughs> I'm going the wrong way about it. Yeah, it, uh, it should... Uh, if anything, it should be in your favor in terms of collision. Uh, I, I keep the collider box a little narrower, so hopefully it doesn't feel like you get any uh, false hits. Was that on the tutorial or on the actual gameplay? Shouldn't matter because the lava and both of them actually have the same collider boxes. The there. Tribble's back as well. As what? she. As she. <laughs> as does the Tribble. Sorry, I'm animating her. The Tribble's back as well. Uh, it might be the levels just uh, feel too narrow, but like I said, just starting out. Yeah, well, if you're seeing Lava, then you're obviously playing the arcade version, not the casual, too. It's it's harder than Super Meat Boy at the moment. Well, because you're probably, like I said, if you're seeing Lava, then you're not playing the casual mode, you're playing the arcade mode, which is designed to be very challenging. <laughs> yeah, so you may want to hit the old menu button on the old Xbox. Yeah, playing guys, there you go, and start with that, and you will see that the lava, uh, for almost all the levels, I think I have, like, lava in just one of the levels, so you will not see that, you know, it, it, a little bit, if at all. The Tribble's back as well. I mean, there'll still be the pools, but the actual flowing lava, you will not see the flowing one. And I assume, um, I, I assume that's what you're talking about, was that the actual flow of the lava. And yeah, that was definitely challenging, especially to begin with. Yeah. Yeah. The Tribble's back as well. And I mean, that's funny because that's something I've, I've, I've faced when I've taken the game out to test. And the gamers will come up and they go straight to the arcade and kind of going, you know what, you may want to start with the, with the, you know, the casual, the more casual mode. And they're like, no, 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 I got this. And they would just, they get their butt handed to them. It's kind of like, okay, let me try casual, you know. But I just, I wanted it to really kind of feel like a good payoff right um you know so i, I wanted to be kind of the things that you feel like you play the art uh, the, the casual first right and kind of get comfortable with how the gameplay works and then when you come into arcade you're going to feel a lot more uh, ready to take it on the tribble's back as well what what the tribble's the tribble's back as You know, I hate to do this. I might change my my thought here. I'm just thinking it's a wasted moment. And the tribbles back. I, you know what? God. I think what I want to do is change this up. Instead of having her come up to the tablet like this, I'm thinking I may want to have her look at him, and kind of like do a finger pointing at the tablet, kind of going, "He's back. He's back." Right? As if, hey, the tablet doesn't lie. So I may want to change that. So what I might do is version up in case I hate the crap out of this. Cutscene 2, bridge. Let's be version 9. Like that. Bulls back as well. The triple. Nice. And the tri So, what I want to do is keep it more down here. That might be funny because she's kind of hunched over, but if I have her focus still on the captain while she's pointing, that adds a little more of an antagonistic kind of the performance, I think. So I think that is going to be a good idea. And if it sucks, I'll just reload the previous version.
Alright, and I may have to cheat this hand down in order to accommodate the other hand pointing at the screen. Uh, I got out of the portal and immediately was hit by lava on the wall for a damage? When you returned? When you came back from the bonus room? Because uh, the way it works is you should have like a full second of uh, uh, like of invulnerability. So in case you happen to hit it by accident, uh, you shouldn't actually take the damage. Oh, that one? Damn, I thought I had that. Okay. So yeah, so you dropped out of here and you came down and you you. Right when you returned, you hit it because no, I lost one hit point. Hmm. Uh, so when you were going in, or when you finished the bonus room and you you came back out. Um. When I got out. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's. Sh oh, crap. Because I, I, I did it intentionally where I give you like a full second when you come out of the portal where you do not receive damage to prevent that. But I'll double check to make sure that that's active. Um, but yeah, thanks. I'll give that a look here. Uh, I won't do it now just because I'm in the middle of the animation stuff. But uh, I'll keep this. And I know which level this is, but I'll go ahead and keep this available so I can take a look at that here in a little while and the triples back is triples back the trip all right I'm gonna keep him right there. Like that, that's good. Alright, so let me start with the neck here. Changing his performance, so I'm gonna go through all these. Right, I think that's a head rotating there. Oh no, there's a little bit of a neck. Okay, that. This, this might work. We're just kind of leaning in and just kind of like rotating the head up towards him to let him know that the triple has returned. And then the hand's kind of freaking out here, so let's go ahead and just copy a couple frames for the moment. The triples, triples. Mm 
Let's dip down a little bit. Oh, she's about to say back. Like that. The triples back as well. Ooh, way too snappy. Like that. Don't like that one. See how that works. The triples back as well. Ooh, the triples. Dip right there is too much. The triples back as well. The triples back as well. What? The triples back as well. So yeah, and I think triples what I'll do is back. For here, instead of back, when instead of raising it up like that, she'll like kind of drop it down, with the finger pointing at it. The triples back. Back. Almost to point where I'm good. Like that. Okay. The triple's back as well. What? The triple's back as well. What? Yeah, so I did this little dip. The triple's back as well. I think it would it'd like, it'd be pointing, you know, I have to like touch the finger and push it down just to really emphasize the point. The triple's back as well. Yeah, that's cool. And the triples back as well. The now, the question is, can I do that with this stupid hand? That's not the hand. Triples back as well. That's and and here. Definitely cheat that elbow big time. I'll come back for that. Because that's one kinked arm right there. And I have to figure out how to. Hmm. Yeah, I'll figure that out. I get the, the fingers reversed there. Like so. <laughs> yep. Right, until I get the hand posed, I don't know if that position's good or not. But I'll get that figured out later on. Push down. 
something like that. Yep. So obviously the fingers are foobar at the moment. And yeah, but... the triple's back as well. What? <laughs> it's cute. It's... The triple's back as well. What? So yeah, she just has the finger up and goes poof like that. And the triple's back as well. It... And the triple's back as well. What? Yeah, so obviously I will fix the arm there, which I should able to do like that. Yep, just raise up like that. That should be good enough. Yep, alright, I can work on that. So let's see what we've got so far for her. The last, the last piece of equipment is now on board, sir. Terrific! Good riddance to that whole planet. And the Tribble's back as well. What? Yep, she's definitely rubbing his nose in it at that point. Cool, I like that. I like that uh, much better than what I had before with just having the, the tablet down by her side. Instead, just kind of like tweaking them just a little bit because she can. Uh, obviously, ignore the fingers. I gotta fix the, the hand pose there for sure. And the broken arm. But I will take care of that later on. Alright, I think Lucini's now buried in the gameplay now, so <laughs> I'll, I'll let him go back to finding all the bugs that I've missed. Um, bummed to hear about that one. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, I appreciate you playing it. Um, but yeah, quarter pass. So I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. That was a good cutoff point. I got a nice little chunk done just that one hour. That was with you guys. Uh, who is testing it too right now? Oh, sweet. Awesome. Well, tell him to give me his thoughts as well. Definitely looking for the bugs. Um, but yeah, and then, I, I don't know, I think you're on my, will do, awesome. Yeah, and just tell him to either forward the info to you and then toss in my Discord, or tell him to join the Discord. Cost him nothing. Why not? <laughs> cool. Alright, um, you know what, I'll do one more virtual. Oh, let me do this. Do my links. There you go. So there's all the good stuff. Speaking of Discord, if you'd like to join me on the Discord channel, please do. Uh, very reachable on there. Uh, I'm only doing one-hour streams Monday, Wednesday, Friday here, but Discord you can always pretty much get at me. Uh, then YouTube, uh, all these videos basically work their way over to YouTube because Discord only keeps them for a short amount of time. Discord, excuse me. <laughs> Twitch. Twitch only keeps these videos for a short time, so I bounce them over to YouTube. So if there's anything previously you want to see that I screwed up on, that's the go. That's the place to go find it. Is YouTube? You'll see them there. Uh, and of course, there's the link to the Steam page at the bottom there, where you can wish list as well as grab. Do both. Cost you nothing, but please wish list it and please feel free to uh, hit the old play test button. I have it set up right now that normally in play test the way it works is uh, you click on it and then I have to authorize you. But I've pretty much opened the floodgates because I want to let as many people play it right now as, as possible and if it gets crazy I, I may uh, flip the switch again but right now you don't have to wait to get approved you can just hit play test and you will have it available to play uh, yeah, for a while until I'm totally done he, a, a different version than he is he probably downloaded the demo and not the play test uh, the demo is a million years old so tell him not to download there's uh, you know what here uh, I'll show you here. Here you go. Just to clarify. 
So, uh, yeah, so here's the wish list. So definitely add it to your wish list, please. Um, and then the demo version here, which I've already done. Uh, so you can download an old demo version, but you don't want to do that because that was number one, it's ancient. And number two, it's only like the first, uh, part of the game, right? So no, this is the one. Oh, okay. If that's, you know what? Oh crap. You know what? You say that I should have picked up on that. Absolutely. Uh, this is the ancient old, uh, HUD. And this is the old lighting. <laughs> I should have picked up on that, dude. Um, yeah, where's... Uh, what did I just do with it? Did I close it? I don't think I did, but I might have. Or did I put it on here? Uh, yeah, I think you actually... You are playing the demo. I don't think I know. Uh... I'll, I'll show you so good so I'm still in the uh, yeah so here you go so this is what you sent me was this one right <laughs> no that's good I'm, I'm happy to see that that means that I'm still not dead yet so um, yeah the lighting is a little different this one is brighter and this one is a lot more contrasty and cool uh, <laughs> You know, that's not a terrible idea. Um, I, I, I don't know if I can. I'll, I'll look into that. But you're, you're right, because it's dated anyways. So I should remove it, at least temporarily, until I... Uh... Yeah, but this is the old HUD, right? Here's the new one. Uh, it, not a tremendous amount of difference, but you can see, like, the hearts are now condensed into this. And I did that because I had more items to add. So I added points, which, in the demo you're playing, there's no tracking of points at all. Uh, and then everything else is kind of compressed down so there's more room to, to view everything so yeah definitely so your buddy is actually the one that did it right <laughs> so congratulate him for clicking the right button but uh, Lucini that's a fantastic suggestion I will definitely disable the demo version right now because I don't want that would suck I finally get someone to come okay I'll take a look at it um, he, well you did okay <laughs> But yeah, I'll pull it down, so that way, hopefully, people will get the right one. But, yeah. So, one more time. Yeah, <laughs> 100 times better look. Yeah, th that demo is really old. Um, I hadn't really updated it, because I've been too busy trying to make the game done. And now we're getting much closer. Uh, so yeah, right here. Request access. If you hit that little button, you'll instantly get access. There's no turnaround time. Yeah, and this is like these gifts. I get it. Anim uh, gifs. Sorry. Did I say gifts? Uh, these uh, gif gifts, whatever the hell you want to call them, are ancient old as well. So uh, some of the stuff. I updated the screenshots, but the videos, I need to go back and update the videos as well, which will come after I get the stupid game done. So I'll get to that. But uh, Lucini, yeah, thanks for the suggestion, man. I will definitely disable the demo for the time being until the game is ready to go so everyone will have to play the, the playtest version. But, uh, yep. Yeah. All right. I think I will wrap it up there. Uh, I will go in the backyard and uh, play Real Catch with my dog. Speaking of, what do you think? Time for that cameo? I think she's ready. Mess it up a bit. Ready? There she is. <laughs> yep. Don't eat my face on camera. No. <laughs> Alright. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Alright. Lucini, thanks for dropping in, buddy. Enjoyed the conversation, and uh, thanks for giving it a look. Uh, everyone else, please give it a try. Uh, that'll do it for today, but I will be back on Friday. Yeah, Lucini, yeah, hope you're back again, man. And so, yeah, I'll be here uh, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, 10 p.m. GMT. Uh, let you do the math. But, uh, yeah, please feel free to join me. Um, otherwise, outside of there, 
definitely come over to the Discord oh, and say hello cheap. to me over there as well. All right, guys, me. take care of yourselves, and I will see Turn you again off. on Friday. Adios.